What is going on everybody? Welcome and today we are going to be taking a look at our first Warhammer 40k set. We're going to be looking at the inner sensors and paint set. It's got six pots, one brush, and three minis. All for the low price of 40 bucks, which is actually a pretty good deal considering that those paints would cost about 30 bucks on the, their own. And we're getting that plus minis and a paintbrush for 40 bucks, so that's pretty good. Not going to lie, I'm actually pretty pretty happy about that so let's open it up let's see are there instructions for this because I see they're numbered the sprues are numbered and I'm wondering if they tell you which pieces go with which uh, figure because I think I think some of them you can tell which ones go together um, but at the same time I don't know so uh, I think we're gonna start with the captain or the not the captain the sergeant like the guy without a helmet. So we're going to start with him. We'll cut him out. And, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is actually looking pretty cool. These are pretty cool. I can see why people, I can see why people obsess over these and spend a lot of money on these bad boys. I would definitely drop a couple hundred bucks on just a bunch of these just to make a huge ass army or something like that. But, uh, yeah. We're going to take a little hobby knife here. Get the sprue connectors I guess the mold lines and all that off clean it up a little bit and try not to we're gonna try not to uh, make too much of uh, gashes in it not to get try not to go too deep I mean I guess we'll call it we'll call it battle damage you know what I mean if we do damage it if we go a little too deep we'll call it battle damage you know slap a little bit of paint on it and it'll just It'll just look natural, you know. Oh, he's got shot in the arm or whatever. So, anyway. Yeah. So, we'll clean that up. We'll do a dry fit. And then, we will paint and glue, or we'll glue them together and then paint them. Hmm. Yeah. I know they say not to glue them. Or they don't have to glue them, but... I tried dry fit... When I tried dry fitting them here, it's like... The pins are so are just so bad that it's like the torso here the torso here is probably the hardest thing to get on it just will not go in it's so it's so specific you gotta put it in at just the right angle that it is damn near impossible to get it on there in a timely manner like this is sped up like this is this is double speed just getting that one piece on like it's actually ridiculous how long it takes to get it on there, but so I think I'm gonna cut off the little pegs when I actually glue them together, just to make my life easier. And uh, yeah, that's that's uh, the minis on their stands, and uh, yeah, that's actually looking pretty cool. That's looking pretty cool unpainted. I like the detail on that. It's got a nice little helmet. He's got that nice helmet. You know, I can't. You see them having different colored helmets, like the sergeants having different color helmets, but they don't include any other paint, so I guess we're just going to paint it blue. I don't want to leave a gray helmet, that'll look kind of dumb. But uh, yeah, so we're going to paint, or we're going to glue them all together, and uh, yeah, so we got them all glued together. I actually like these regular ones with the helmets on, those look pretty cool. I think I like the ones with the regular helmets more than the sergeants, you know, because it's, they're more armyable, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, these are pretty cool. And uh, we are going to take these outside, and we are going to spray paint them. Or, we're not going to. Well, yeah, we're going to spray paint them, but it's primer. We're going to prime them outside. And, uh, you know, I actually glued these, but I just had a great idea. We should actually, I'm going to actually magnetize. Once I get another set of these, or if I get some more uh, intercessors or anything, really, we're going to magnetize the feet of them and the base so that we can actually switch them out. So, you know, if we want, if we want to run like a sand, we're running a sand terrain one time or a arctic terrain another, you know, we can just change the base plate out. But, uh, I think I glued them, so it's a little too late now, and I also have not gotten any magnets, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it. And, uh, yeah, so we got these primed up, and we are gonna start with our first stroke of, uh, McCraggy Blue. We're going to do a little bit of a, we're going to do a base layer of McCraggy blue. And, uh, yeah, I don't think I can record all this, just both because of my camera. 
size, and because I am have it propped up against a uh, coffee mug, and it's kind of getting in the way, so uh, yeah, we got this all painted up, and that's actually looking pretty cool. Heck, that's just blue, but I'm actually pretty happy with that. That's looking right sexy. And then we got the gold trim on there, too. That's even better. No. You know, you think, oh, you're messing it up. And you get a little sloppy in here and there. And you clean it up afterwards. Ooh, these things just look sexy. Like, that thing looks amazing. I know it's not the best. I've seen, you know, you see so many more professional guys do it. But this is my first set. This is my first paint job. And I'm pretty happy with these. These are looking pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy about those. So, yeah. You know. I'm going to recommend this set to anybody starting this hobby. Even somebody that's, you know, if you're running low on paints and you want to do, you want to just do a little, little bit of a, I guess a snack project or whatever, and just paint a couple of minis, this is a set for you. I mean, I guess you probably would have all the paints and all that, but you know what? You know what? It's still a good set. I'm actually pretty happy with this set. And, uh, yeah. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, this is gonna be our this is our first Warhammer 40k video, you know. If there's anything I missed, any techniques, you know, I could do better. You know, any way I could paint these better, you know, comment down below. And uh yeah, so stay tuned. Next week we're probably gonna do magic again and we're just we're just gonna wait for our Warhammer uh order to come in because we ordered up the tank. And uh yeah, so we will see you all next week. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and uh yeah, peace out.